Like free software? This is a video for you. I'll be showing you 25 free pieces of software. Most of them not trials, few of them are. I couldn't help it. All the software is Windows only unless otherwise noted in the description. First off, DVD 43. Basically, it's a copy protection remover. All it does is shows up this little icon here the smiley face. When you insert a DVD it automatically removes the copy protection so something like DVD shrink which I'll show you next can copy it without having trouble. DVD shrink. It's an old DVD copying program but it still works if you have DVD 43 installed. Basically very simple program. You just can open a disc you can do the full disc, select your content or you can do a reauthor. Just a warning, reauthor, you can't keep any menus. If DVD 43 combined with DVD shrink doesn't work, I recommend DVD decryptor. It doesn't compress an 8 gigabyte DVD to something smaller, but it still works pretty well. You can also use handbrake, which Instead of copying a DVD to um, an ISO file or folders, it copies it to an actual movie. And Handbrake, you definitely need DVD 43 for newer DVDs. If none of those work, you could try using a trial version of DVD Fab, but not amazingly good because the trial doesn't compress big videos. Image burn. It's basically a good burner. It doesn't just burn images, ISO files that is, but it's good for burning ISO files and all these different types of things. If that's too complicated, use Hamster Free Burning Studio. Pretty simple DVD thing. Supposed to be able to blue burn Blu-ray, but it's still in beta so it's not amazingly good. Hamster free video converter can convert many different types of videos to iPod and portable devices. If that doesn't work or you're trying to do longer videos I recommend next video converter. Just add the movie and select your output types. One thing is when you add a movie it'll say pick your format and then you want to go down to the professional devices if you want anything like iPod or PSP or any specific device even though it says you have to pay for it I've been using this software for over six months and every time I've used it I've never had to buy it every time you convert a video just say no to buy professional version Google Chrome is a great web browser by Google. It's pretty fast and self-explanatory what a web browser is, hopefully. OpenOffice is a completely free alternative to Microsoft Office. Probably heard of it. Microsoft Office, that is. OpenOffice is like an open source thing that does exactly the same stuff. Presentation, spreadsheets, etc. Text, document editing. Object Doc kind of imitates the Apple toolbar on the bottom with your icons. I have it on this computer, but my screen capture software probably won't record it, so you'll have to take my word for it. Audacity. Great free audio editor. It's a bit complicated to learn at first, but has a ton of cool effects here, and you can generate stuff. You can edit if you want to save it as mp3s. You're going to have to have the lame LAME encoder, which you can find in libraries. So you have lame and FFmpeg. Doesn't work. It may work on your computer, didn't work on mine. I love Audacity. Google SketchUp. It's a free modeling software. You can draw buildings and stuff.
there's a very extensive help to this tons of videos you can do all sorts of stuff I'm not very advanced today but it's cool to play around with Picasso 3 picture software has a bunch of cool fixes and stuff here if you open a picture from Windows Explorer Finder you can have a view from Picasa photo viewer instead of like paint or something lame like that WinRAR it's a unzip software uh, extractor what have you it is aha see look at this says it's a 40 day tree trial just click close I've been using it it never tells me that something's wrong you can also right click and have extensions from the file menu iTunes if you don't know what it is it's amazing a cool uh, I guess media player has tons of free podcasts from the store can sync to all Apple devices I believe and must have software if you want to get free podcasts I guess it also comes with QuickTime if you do these links that I provided you won't have to install QuickTime as well Real Player, another good media player a few cool features has a video downloader which I think is cool but I use KeepVid also you can trim your audio shorter, you can trim your videos you can convert it Rhapsody another cool player I guess by Real has its own music guide and you can play tracks from it find it takes a while to start up and I guess I haven't updated it recently but pretty useful I find a uh, cool user interface and stuff VLC media player is a great media player it has this strange traffic cone icon but it can play almost any kind of file you have it can play DVDs, ISO files it can capture video but I haven't really figured that out it can also you can paste a video URL like a YouTube video and it'll play through here it has a bunch of cool effects and stuff and you can change the speed over here it plays almost pretty much any file switch sound file converter convert your audio files pretty simple just pick your output format this is a trial one I couldn't find many you can always use real player though if you if real player doesn't work recommend using this just in case these NCH software here is all trial but they work pretty good WavePad Sound Editor is kind of like a cheapo version of the real version, but kind of like Audacity, but it has a few things that Audacity doesn't do so well. That's why I still have it. Debut video screen capture. Can't show you that right now because that's what I'm recording with. NCH Tone Generator. You can generate tones, do different noise and sine waves and change around with this isn't very fancy a program but if you want sound you can record it through audacity and wavepad finally video pad video editor i wouldn't consider myself an amazing video editor but this is a pretty basic program it's a free version though so it doesn't have many formats and you don't have many transitions but you can still edit your videos so I hope this has been helpful. I'll post all these links in the description.